I'm back. It's been a couple of weeks, but we are finally going to get started with Season 7 of Walks to the Prem here today with our first ever game as a professional team against Swindon Town in League 2. But just before we do get into today's video, just want to let some of you guys know who may not have seen that I'm doing some charity streams over the next couple of months over on Twitch to try and raise money for Crohn's and Colitis UK. Crohn's and Colitis is a condition that's very close to me because I have Crohn's disease. And on May the 16th, I'm going to be doing a 10 kilometer charity walk to try and raise funds for that charity as well as the charity streams. And so, for every £5 that we get donated to the Just Giving page, which you can find down below, I have to eat some of these beans. One bean for every £5 donation. And since we have had a donation very nicely from Custard Profit since the last stream, what we're going to do is I'm going to eat a bean right here on the video so that you guys can see the fun that we get up to on stream. We've got some very interesting flavours. Strawberry or fresh blood, cola or squid, watermelon or suit or snot. Uh, what else have we got? Caramel or farts, rotten milk or tooty fruity, and blueberry or toothpaste. So, let's go and give the wheel a bit of a spin and see what we're going to get. We are getting... Oh, that was so close to being caramel or farts, but... It is just on the watermelon or snot. So, let's see. What are we going to get? Come on, please be watermelon. Please be watermelon. You can see the bean. Well, you can't see the bean there. Ooh, it looks all hol holographic. Ooh. But anyway, down the mouth it goes. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's snot. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, thank you, Custard Prophet. Thank you, my man. Oh. oh, come on, down the hole. Down the hole. Ah. Oh. Mm, there we go. If you want to see more of that, come check me out on Twitch tomorrow, 12 till 2. And if you feel like donating, please do. And let me know down below if you have. And I'll do a bean either on the next stream or on the next video. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got Kings Lynn's first ever game as a professional team in League 2. We're at home in the walks against Swindon Town. Should be a good game, might even be a winnable one. You never ever know. But I'm a little bit confused about this uh, weather forecast. 32 degrees? It's going to be boiling. It's going to be a hot one. So hopefully we do get a capacity crowd in the stadium today. And before we do get into the game, let's have a look at the transfers. Let's see who I've brought in over the summer. And the first guy in is a fella by the name of Will Taylor from Hull. He's a central midfielder. We've got him on loan. He looks okay. Two-star current. Four-star potential ability. He's got decent passing, decent technique, decent decisions. And so, yeah, I'm happy with him. We are paying uh, 675 quid a week for him. So, not too bad. That's a decent little deal we've got there. And so, next one up is Zach Chandler from Verona in Italy. But despite being over there, he is English. And he is, again, 21 years old. Decent heading, decent marking, decent tackling. He's a central defender, three-star current, four-star potential ability. It says here he's our best centre-back, but he's not in the starting lineup for today. You'll see the starting lineup in a minute, and you'll understand why he's not in there just yet. But we are paying him... Uh, how much are we paying? £500 a week. So again, that's not too bad for a League 2 team like we are now. And then after that, we've got a fella back on loan. 
Nathaniel Lewis, you'll recognise him from last season. He did very well for us last year, getting himself 15 goals and 8 assists and an average rating of 7.14. So yeah, I had to bring him back when I had the opportunity and we are paying absolutely nothing for him. So that is even better. So that is a fantastic little deal there I think I've done. And as well as bringing somebody back, we've also brought back Tyreek Wilson. He is, of course, our left back. He's been back and forth between us and Wrexham over the last couple of seasons. But we've got him back on a permanent deal, paying him 525 quid a week. So again, not terrible. It's someone we know. It's someone we know we can rely upon. So I was very happy to bring him back. And now, next one in is Kevin Griffiths from Portsmouth. 19 years old. He's a central defender. He's okay. He's going to be a backup. He's going to be in and around the first team, but might not get that many games. But he's got decent attributes. 12 heading, 9 tackling, 16 teamwork, 16 strength, 15 natural fitness. So yeah, he could be a solid option if you are ever sought in that particular position. And then next one in is David Marsden from Brighton. He's an advanced playmaker. He's going to be our first choice uh, attacking midfielder, at least for the first couple of months, because Romain Mundell has picked up an injury and he's out for probably two months. So a little bit disappointing we're going to be without him. But Marsden should be a capable alternative. We are paying... Oh, a lot of money. 1,400 quid a week we are paying for him. So he really needs to hit the ground running and needs to get going quickly. And then last one that we have brought back is Stephen Hopkins from Cholton. He is, of course, a central defender. We've had him a couple of times now. We had him on loan when we was back in the Vanarama League North. And he did okay there. He's not had any games for Cholton, so we thought we'd bring him back. And we are paying uh, 550 quid a week. So again, about average to what we're paying for the rest of the lads. And then next one in, Desroy Lake. We've got him in as a free transfer. I think he might be one my, direct, my director of football brought in. Because I don't recognise his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got him from Tottenham. We signed him from Tottenham. I recognise him now. And yet, he's going to play on the right. He's going to be in a backup or slash competition for DiMaggio Wright Phillips. And you can see another one there that we have brought in. Peter Stevens. He again is on the right hand side. They say he's our best right midfielder. My coaches do. But I still prefer DiMaggio. Because if you have a look at this guy's crossing and dribbling... 7 and 8, but DiMaggio's 11 and 12. So, DiMaggio is still going to be first choice, but it's good to know that we've got options now in case we do get injuries and all that. Peter Stevens, we are paying him 525 quid a week. And then I think there's only one more that we've brought in. Yep, Russell Denton from Watford. He's 19 years old. He's a striker. Finishing, not the best, but you know, you never know. He's quick. He's got decent acceleration. He's got good natural fitness. He's definitely going to be a backup option, but he looks like he could be all right. Where has he played before? He's played at Watford, and for their reserves, he had a pretty decent season last year. So you never know. Down at this level, might be able to do something. And so before we do get into the game, show you the finances. We're currently on 167 grand, but for the first time in the club's history, we are expected to make a profit. So as long as we stay up, it's going to be a very, very good season for us. And so speaking of that, we are predicted to finish. Where are we expected to finish? Uh, no, don't want that one. Season preview. That's what we want. We're expected to finish 16th. So if we can do that, I'd be very happy. But to be honest, I'd be happy with 22nd and just about staying up. And then last thing first, 
or last wins last before we do get in to the game. This is the club vision for the season. Fight bravely against relegation. Be competitive in the FA Cup and in all the rest of the Cups as well. So, with all that waffling out of the way, why don't we get into today's game and have a look at the team that's going to be playing our first ever game as a professional club. We have got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Hopkins and Barnett are our central defenders. Hopkins is six foot six, Barnett is six foot seven. So we're going for a giant centre back partnership there. Crow is still at right back. And our midfield is pretty much the same as last season. Lewis on the left, McCarthy and Simmons in the middle of the park, DiMaggio right Phillips on the right hand side, and then David Marsden making his debut for the club in behind Aberdeen Goodridge. Come on, Kingsley. The bookmakers, of course, have Swindon as favourites for our first ever game as, as a professional team. But 13 to 8. Not impossible that we can win this game. And I've got a funny feeling we just might, as we hopefully have a big crowd at the walks for us today. Here we are in the dressing room. And let's see, is our assistant going to do his job at all today? Oh, he is. He's set instructions for four Swindon players. Wow, he must be taking his job way more seriously now. And now let's go passionate. Let's go. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. A few of them are motivated. And now let's go with, of course, my favourite way of telling players that I have got faith for faith for faith. Come on. Most of them are motivated, apart from the two up top. And so, prediction time. What are we going to say? 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil to Kingsley. Come on, you Linnets. Oh, first highlight of the game, 90 seconds in, Long's got the ball, he crosses it in, and Simmons heads it away, but only as far as Shaw on the edge of the box. He goes to McG McG McGonagall? P -p 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 Professor McGonagall's taking a break from Hogwarts there. And now, here we go, the ball's come into the box, and Swindon with the header, and Wells has put the ball over the top. And now a minute later, it's all Swindon at the moment. Rose with a ball trying to go over the top, but our giant defender heads the ball away. And now we're on the counter. Goodridge is in. He's gone for the shot, and he's always just, just gone wide of the post after the keeper tips it wide. And now what can we do from our first ever corner as a professional team? Dylan Crow with it. He crosses it in, and well, that was awful. Barnett, DiMaggio, plays it out wide to Crow. And can Crow get it back into the box? Nope. DiMaggio, is he going to get it in? He's in the box, he crosses it, and that was poor. And Swindon get that away rather easily. Well, that's your lot for the first half. Not a tremendous amount of highlights, but we are still drawing nil-nil. Three shots we've had to Swindon seven, two on target apiece, and we've had a little bit more of the ball. So let's go into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. And I'm gonna go passing it. I'm gonna go. We're not. We're not doing badly at all. A few people are motivated there. And now let's go. There's a lot more to come from you. There's a lot more to come from you. And up top, again, no reaction from the two boys up top. That might be something I have to have a look at going forward. But come on, I still fancy a two 0 win. Come on, Kingsley. With 25 minutes left on the clock, I'm taking DiMaggio White Phillips off. He is looking absolutely knackered. So who do we take him off for? Peter Stevens? Do we see what he can do? Well, yeah, okay. We'll see what he can do. So chuck him on there. And, oh, he's not happy being a winger, is he? Why is he not happy being a winger? Because he can't play there. Well, okay then. So, uh, who else have we got that can play there? Can Dexter play there? Yeah, he can. So, we're going to chuck him on instead. Dexter Waters for DiMaggio. And put him on attack. And chuck Lewis a little bit further forward as well. And any other changes I want to make? Maybe you and Murray? Maybe put him on in place of Marsden. Because Marsden's not done a whole lot thus far. Or do we go 4-4-2 and try and win it? 
you know what? We're going to go 4 4 2 and try and win it. That's what we're going to do. So, the man, the myth, the legend, Adam Marriott, making what I think is his professional debut. So, let's see what we can do here as we're going to pump the ball a little bit more direct. And I think leave everything else as is. And so, come on, Kingsley. 15 minutes left in the game. Finally, we've got a highlight in the second half. Long with the ball for Swindon, crosses it. And rather ironically, his cross does go long. But Swindon are in and Lee with a header. But thankfully, that one goes over the bar. And it's still nil-nil for the time being. Come on, 10 minutes left. Can we get a winner here? Let's go demand more. Come on. McCarthy now is knackered. Oh, I'm going to make a sub after this highlight. McKinnon to Hunt, crosses it in, and Walters gets it away. And now Marriott on the counter. Has he got a teammate with him? Yes, he has. Goodridge, and he's in. Goodridge is in. He's into the box. Come on. Oh, that was a dreadful shot there. What was he doing? Oh, highlights now coming a little bit thick and faster towards the end of the game. And you can see in the stands that apparently coronavirus is still hitting because this crowd is rather rather low for what I would have expected. And we've given away a penalty in injury time. Oh, no. Swindon to take it. Who's it? Long. Puts the ball down. Runs up and it's gone in the back of the net. Rolos. Absolute Rolos. Not how you want your first game in as a professional team to end, is it? Ah, oh, that that's a little bit disappointing. I think we deserved a point, if I'm going to be honest. But it's not going to happen, is it? And yep, there it is, the full-time whistle. We have lost the game 1-0. Swindon have had 13 shots, 2 our 7 Five on target apiece. Possession very even. So, yeah, I think a point would have been the right result. But, oh well, not to be. Let's just go. Um, just one of those days. And yet, yeah, most people are confident and motivated. So now let's go in the team talk. And let's see where we're going to come back for the next episode. And while we do wait for that, I do just want to say thank you to everybody who has popped in to watch this today. It's very much appreciated. I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode, so thank you for sticking with the channel and sticking with the series. We are going to be back on a regular schedule for the, net, for the time being. And if you want to know what the schedule is, keep an eye on Twitter. I'll be announcing the new schedule for the channel Monday morning, Monday lunchtime, over on Twitter. So please do check that out. And as well as that, I do just want to thank everyone who did pop in to the charity stream on Wednesday night. We, we raised 55 quid, I think it was. 55, 55 or 60 quid, something like that. In one night for Crohn's and Colitis. So that is amazing. I've got a target on the Just Giving page. Of 200 quid. So hopefully by May the 16th. The date of the charity walk I'm doing. Hopefully we'll have smashed that 200 quid. Rather easily. Okay guys. I think we're going to come back. For the Blackburn game. In the Carabao Cup. Our first ever appearance. In that competition. And good to have an ex Premier League winning team. Down at the walks for a competitive fixture. So we're going to come back for that one. And then maybe after that, we come back for Newport, my local team now. So that could be interesting. My past and my present clashing. So I think that is what we're going to do for the next couple of episodes. Thank you everybody who has checked this video out. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, oh, outro, I forgot how to do my outro. Check me out on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. This series, the India Building a Nation series, and Pro Evo will be back at some point next week as well. So subscribe 
for all of that good stuff. And like I say, please do check out the Just Giving page down below, trying to raise money for Crohn's and Colitis. Please do check all that good stuff out. And check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter, and the Facebook, and all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. I think I've got all their details down below. Check all that good stuff out. And yep, I'll be back with you on Twitch tomorrow for the Relegation Survival Challenge, trying to raise funds for Crohn's. And I'll be back on YouTube on Monday with the Build a Nation India series. So I shall see you later. Bye.